artificial intelligence, AI, is killing open source software. I don't think it's killing collaborative software development if we act now, but I do think it is killing open source software as we know it. Bear with me while I talk about a couple of things that happened in the news and why I think this is important. So OpenAI just offered to buy Windsurf, a software development tool based on AI, for $3 billion. That is a lot of money for a software development tool, especially when OpenAI is already in the AI business and could develop one of their own. That means there's a lot of money right now in software development using AI. The second point I think that illustrates how much money there must be in software development using AI and how much it's changing the industry is all of the articles that we've seen come out, including some from the GitHub CEO, that say that software development is not done as a career. That means AI is changing the career so much that people are afraid that the career is going away. So they're saying it's not going away, but they're also implying that it's changing a lot. So between a company being willing to pay $3 billion for their at least second choice software development company, because they wanted Cursor first, and people continually reiterating that software developers are not going away, I think we can safely say that the career in the industry are changing. And as open source software is a subset of that industry, I think it's also going to change. And I think it's going to change drastically. Before I talk to you about how I think it's going to change and what I think we ought to do about it, let me give you an example of history. So let's look at architects. So architectures, architecture used to be a career about designing buildings and you drew all the plans by hand. Um, so you would, an architect would actually sit at a draft board, bend over it and use a pencil and write very detailed drawings. And that's what they would spend most of their day doing is writing these drawings. And then in the 1980s, CAD software came out with AutoCAD being the most well-known one. And it could do these drawings itself. It changed the industry drastically. It actually changed the job of the architect. So they were no longer drawing all day. Maybe they were designing on a computer. Maybe they were tackling other issues, but they didn't have to sit there and draw at the draft board. That might be good if that's the part of the job you didn't like. Um, it probably was really frustrating if you actually went into it because you liked drafting. Uh, so it's happening to software development. Developers are using AI to write a lot of the code that they're doing and to find a lot of ways to solve problems that have already been done before. Um, I talked to a CTO of a small software startup recently, and he told me that he loves using AI tool. It's allowing him to create their prototypes much faster and get to market much faster. Uh, but he's no longer writing the code. He's no longer writing algorithms or figuring out how to solve the problem. Instead, he's more like an architect or a project manager telling the AI tool um, how to do it. And this actually seemed to me a lot like what happens to a successful open source software developer. So a successful open source software developer writes a piece of really useful code, puts it out there, and then when other people join the project, their role slowly transitions uh, from being a co someone who writes code to someone who reviews code and sets direction um, and sets you know, the architect and overall plans. So I believe AI is doing to all software developers what successful open source software does to software developers. Um, it turns them into maintainers. So instead of being software developers, we're maintainers. So the role of software developer is definitely changing. But what does that mean for open source software? And I think this is really interesting. I think um, the AI in most cases is picking what software and what dependencies you're gonna have. Um, so it's probably picking what open source software you're going to use. And then if it finds a problem, if you find a problem and it needs to solve it, the AI is the one that generates the code. So is the AI the one that's gonna submit a pull request to a project when you fix a bug? might actually be a good thing. It might uh, write better like reproducibility descriptions, um, nicer comments. Like maybe the AI will do a good job. And on the other side, um, if, the, if the project is also has AI in it, uh, it'll review your change and respond very nicely. So we'll have AIs contributing to AI run projects, maybe. 
or maybe the AI will just be so fast that that you'll you'll not even think to contribute back, like or to create an open source software project, uh, because if if you were if if you wanted to create a piece of software and the AI creates it in like ten seconds or fifteen seconds, are you going to think that's a value? Are you going to create a project? with that code when you think that the next developer can just generate the exact same thing um, in 10 seconds or 15 seconds. I find when I do um, projects with AI now, it comes back with answers so quick. It seems like it couldn't even possibly have read what I wrote or watched the video that I pointed it at, and it comes back with an answer already. Um, so given that, I wouldn't find value in that answer, and I wouldn't think to post it anywhere because you would have the same access to it. Not saying that software is developed in seconds, I'm not even using AI, but a lot of the contributions to open source software projects are relatively small. They're small pull requests or they're small pieces of functionality. And those I think will be very effective. Well, I think open source software as we know it is going to go away. The question is, how are we going to collaborate together and how are we going to share the software um, that we develop and the knowledge with the world? And that's where I think either we have to create all the projects in open source to start with, or we have to figure out ways um, to tell our AI to share with others what we're learning and what we're doing. Um, so I'm really interested in what you think we should do. Like, how do you think we should continue collaborative software in the future? Is it just through the AI as we know it? Or can we add features or ways of working that improve it even more? So please leave a, com a, a comment below and let's start a conversation.